Hi, welcome to this corporate maths video on ratio and expressing ratios in the form 1 to n, so 1 to n or n to 1, depending on what the question asks. Um, expressing ratios in that format is really useful, particularly for comparing them. Now, before you go any further, I'd highly recommend you watch the video on corporate maths simplifying ratios. So, for instance, if you had the ratio of 4 to 6, if we were asked to simplify it, it would cancel down, dividing both of them by 2 to 2 to 3. Now, whenever we're expressing ratios in the format 1 to n, you keep on going so that the number at the front is 1, so you divide both of them by 2 again to get 1 to 1.5. And whenever you're expressing in the format 1 to n, uh, more, like, more likely than not, or more often than not, one of the numbers will be a decimal number. Now, it doesn't have to be. It could be 1 to 8 or something like that, um, but then that would be the same as just cancelling down the ratio, but it could be something like 1 to 9.1 and so on, okay? Okay, so expressing ratios in the form of 1 to n, it's really useful for comparing them. Um, sort of to explain why, whenever I was out at school, we were asked to research the universities we were interested in going to. Whenever we'd done that, we were given lots of books, and one of the statistics that I kept on seeing was the staff to student ratio. In other words, for one member of staff, how many students there were at that university. Now, the university I went to is Queen's University in Belfast, and I've just Googled this this morning, and I find that the, the staff to student ratio currently there, from what I've seen, is 1 to 15.8. Now, whenever I was deciding to go to university, I wanted this to be quite a good ratio. In other words, 1 to and a low number. Okay, I didn't want a sort of a ratio 1 to 40, because I would have felt that was too many students to staff to sort of get, you know, sort of personalised help from the staff there at the university. So this ratio staff to student ratio, whenever I chose Queen's, I chose sort of Queen's on the merit of the university being a great university, but also the fact that I had a really good staff to student ratio meant that I could get the support, you know, from this, the, the staff there at the university while studying. Okay, so this format one to, uh, the one to N can be very useful for comparing. To show you how useful it can be to compare, um, I've created up a little scenario here where we've got Charlie, who's a striker, who's played 10 football matches, and he's scored 13 goals. And Eric is an also, he's an also another striker, and he's played five matches, and he scored seven goals. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna write that as a ratio. So matches played to goals scored. So we've got the ratio here, 10 to 13 for Charlie, and for Eric, it would be five to seven. Now these two ratios, 10 to 13 and 5 to 7, are both simplified. They can't be simplified any further uh, because obviously 10 and 13 have got no other common factors apart from 1 and 5 and 7 have no other common factors apart from 1. So we can't simplify these down any further. But what we could do is we could write them in the format 1 to n. In other words, make this number at the front 1. Okay, So we'll get matches, of play, matches played for Charlie 1 and for Eric one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna simplify them down to this format one to n. So if it was 10 to 13, both of these numbers are gonna be divided by 10 so that we get the one at the front, okay? We want this 10. Whenever we divide it by 10, we'll get one. And we'll also divide this number 13 by 10. And 13 divided by 10 is 1.3. So what that means is that Charlie has a matches played the goal scored ratio of 1 to 1.3. And what that means is for every game he plays, he scores on average 1.3 goals. Now for Eric, he's got the ratio of 5 to 7. If we divide both of these by 5, so divide by 5 and divide by 5, what we get is we get, well, 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 7 divided by 5 is 1.4. So that means that Eric has got a match has played the goal scored ratio of 1 to 1.4. So it's a very similar ratio, but it's just slightly higher. What it means is that he scores on average 1.4 goals per game compared to Charlie's 1.3 goals per game. Okay, let's have a look at some typical questions now. So here we've got some ratios and we've been asked to write them in the format 1 to n. So we want to make the numbers at the front of the ratios, this number, this number and this number, all 1 and the other values can be whatever they would need to be. So 4 to 10. So we want a 1 at the front, so we're going to divide both of these by 4. So divide by 4 and divide by 4. And when we do that, well 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 10 divided by 4 is 2.5. So 4 to 10. Well, that would be, when I've written in the format 1 to n, would be 1 to 2.5. Okay, next, 5 to 3. So 5 to 3, if we wanted to, simple, uh, to write that down in the format 1 to n, we would divide both of the numbers in the ratio by 5. So divide by 5 and divide by 5. And that will give us 1, 2, and 3 divided by 5 is 0 0.6. So 1 to 0 0.6. And our last one, 16 to, uh, to 300. So we would divide both numbers in this ratio by 16. So divide by 16 
and divide by 16 because we want the number at the front to be 1. So 16 divided by 16 is 1 and 300 divided by 16. Off the top of my head I think it's 18.75 but I'll just quickly check on my calculator. 300 divided by 16 is 18.75. Great, so we have written all these ratios in the format one to n. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some questions where the question is asked us to write the ratios in the format n to one. In other words, it wants the second number in the ratio to be one, so it wants this number to be one, this number to be one, and this number to be one. So if we've got the ratio 130 to 20, if we want the second number to become one, we're gonna divide both of them by 20. So divide by 20 and divide by 20. Um, 130 divided by 20 is 6.5, and 20 divided by 20 is 1. So 130 to 20, written in the format n to 1, would be 6.5 to 1. Okay, next, uh, 30 to 40. So we want the second number to be 1, so we're going to divide both sides by 40. So divide by 40 and divide by 40. And when we do that, 40 divided by 40 is 1 for the second number, but for the first number, 30 divided by 40 is 0 0.75. So 30 to 40, written in the format n to 1, would be 0 0.75 to 1. And finally, 502 to 8, well, we want the second number, this 8, to become 1. So we're going to divide by 8 and divide by 8. And when we do that, we get, well, the second number is going to be 1. And 502 divided by 8 would be 62.75. And that's it.